Okay, so we're going to make an eco deodorant. A lot of recipes on the internet, and what I noticed was they were all missing some different things. So I thought I'd share this with you guys. So, in our insights.com, is our website, if you want to come and make anything with us. Every week we have workshops on how to make your own bug repellents and perfumes and deodorants. The deodorant that I've got has got seven tablespoons of beeswax melted down, a nice raw beeswax. I've added four tablespoons of organic cocoa butter, so it smells really nice, like chocolate. And then we'll add a tablespoon of shea butter, a nice organic shea butter from Ghana. Creamy, buttery, and a little bit of an off-white color. Four tablespoons of aloe butter. So I want a nice, rich, um, moisturizing deodorant that's going to give a cooling sensation. And the aloe will help to give that cooling sensation to your armpits. Things that draw out moisture are clays and uh, some different powders. So we're going to add one teaspoon of a white clay, a kaolin clay. That's going to help to keep us dry. We'll add half of a cup of baking soda. That'll give you a nice pH balance of 11. Really good for any skin type, but particularly sensitive skin. Uh, sorry, what I had just added was half a cup of arrowroot powder. And now we'll add the baking soda. The arrowroot powder is a nice binding agent, like cornstarch, but it has no gluten in it. So it's a nice natural alternative. And other than that, we're just going to add a little bit of zinc. And then some fractionated coconut oil and avocado oil. So zinc, about a teaspoon. And zinc is a nice drying agent. You see that used in baby's bottom care as well because that really helps to dry the bottom and zinc is a trace mineral that helps with sensitive skin so it's a really nice additive as well and lastly was half of a cup of fractionated coconut oil and half of a cup of apricot oil so high in vitamin E is apricot oil and fractionated coconut oil is really light so it's not going to be heavy now we just give that a good stir. You can add whatever essential oils to the armpits that you'd like, although I'd suggest maybe not using citrus or going light on the citrus and choosing those citrus good for sensitive skin like grapefruit, mandarin, and bergamot because otherwise you're going to have a, maybe a stinging feeling with the high terpenes in the citrus after you've shaven in particular. So happy pits, yay! All natural, no aluminum, no toxics. Um, enjoy. Any feedback, let me know. Innerinsights.com, Steffi at Inner Insights. Thank you.